What's up everybody, I am back with another video and today I'm going to talk about how not, I repeat, how not to use secondhand track. This involves any gauge in model railroading in all of existence. So basically what I'm talking about is um, secondhand track. Obviously it is not the best thing to buy everybody. No it is not, in my opinion it isn't. Well yeah you can put some protection on it, but uh, how long is that going to last? Six months? I probably doubt it'll last six months. So here is a piece of secondhand track I got. I actually got this stuff back in August of last year. I don't remember, but um, yeah. This stuff is really horrible. I got some of this stuff on my layout, but Probably around 90% 90, 90 of my track and my layout is Bachman Easy Track, and I absolutely hate Bachman Easy Track. So, this stuff is probably a nickel silver or brass. I really hope this is a nickel silver track. It's by Atlas, I think. Um, let's see, is it made in Italy? Oh, this stuff isn't brass. Oh, not brass, I mean uh, Atlas. It's a. Uh, I, I do not dare pronounce that. Um, See if you can see it. Oh, uh, there we go. By that company there. It's made in Italy. Can you see it? Can you, if I can get this damn thing to focus, oops, sorry. Let's see if I can get it to focus enough. Okay, there we go. I think I just got it. Yeah, it's by that company. I am not, I do not dare to pronounce that. So, you're going to pronounce that yourself. So, as I was saying, with secondhand track, um, sometimes these stuff are not good, especially with the rail joiners. What will happen is that your rails can actually go out of place, and depends on what you use. When your train goes past them, they'll derail. I would get that problem a lot with my trains, but... Uh, yeah, it's the it's probably the rail joiners that will probably be the biggest issue. And uh, also, if you don't know, I never tried it, but if you use a microscope, microscope, I mean, sorry, you will notice that there are these microscopic dents on the rails of the surface of the rail, the track, which will means, or probably scratches too, which will mean that they will get dirty really fast, really easy, from dust and oils from your locomotives um and all that but yeah it's it's really bad so yeah this video is saying to never ever ever buy secondhand track because it's horrible it's in britain rubbish <laughs> so, yeah just yeah don't buy it don't get it ever buy new track buy some pico stuff pico's a lot better i have two things by Pico on my layout. They're mainly just track switches, but I really do hope plan to replace all of this track, except that crossing, to be Pico. Because I, I heard that uh, Pico is the best track there is. It's much easier to clean. It's much easier to look after. Yeah, it's really easy. But hey, you know, don't throw it all away because, you know, actually some of this stuff can actually be pretty useful. Wait, hold on. Give me one second. And what I mean by useful is that you can actually make this stuff really, really good. Like, um, you can make it all rusty and you can shun it to one side of the layout and make the track look like it's been abandoned or look like it's been ripped up and having an uh, abandoned locomotive on it. It's entirely up to you. The possibilities are endless on model railways. You can do whatever you want. I probably would want to use this stuff on um on my model railway for a uh, for uh, abandoned disused track. Yeah, this stuff will make pretty good for scenic interest. So I hope that covers it. I really hope this video finds you well, and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.